Today, you're gonna learn way more about spiders' bathroom activities than you ever wanted to know. Hey guys, it is Patricia from tarantulaheaven.com and today I'm gonna to answer in great detail a brilliant question that I had recently got on my blog. Um, do spiders poop and pee? But before we dive in, I just wanna introduce myself. Um, like I said, my name is Patricia from tarantulaheaven.com and if you are new to my channel, I do um, post tarantula info every single week along with the Tarantula Tuesday newsletter, which I'm gonna leave the link to down below. Um, and I'm also the creator um, behind a new tarantula magazine called The Spinneret, links down below as well. Um, and I also have a tarantula guide. So if you are into all of that, please do subscribe. I post new fun information about tarantulas every single week. Do spiders poop and do they pee? That is a really, really good question. And it's actually not something that you would really know unless you owned a spider or worked very closely with these creatures and had observed them for a great deal of time. So, um, because not so much information is publicized about spiders' bodies and how they actually work, um, this was something that I felt like needed to be answered in great detail. So I would love to be the person to do that. So first, do spiders poop? Um, well, I can tell you from firsthand experience, yes, absolutely, they do poop. Um, I have a Chilean rose hair right here named Spidey, and I have seen her poop many times. And I also have a little sling, an Arizona blonde named Blinky, who I've also seen poop. And uh, surprisingly, for such a tiny little spider, these poops are actually kind of big. But if you don't know what you're looking for, you can actually kind of miss it because tarantulas are very secretive and they usually aren't just gonna poop out in the open in broad daylight. You know, they tend to be very nocturnal sometimes and more active at night. So it's not likely that you're gonna catch your spider pooping, but that has happened in the past and some people have been able to film it. And I've definitely left a video, a really cool video about that in uh, my blog post in the, in the description links. But anyway, so if you don't know what you're looking for, you might miss it. Um, what it kind of resembles is like, I want to say a smaller, cuter, more precious version of bird poop. Um, it's kind of like whitish, it's smearable, or well, I've never touched it personally, <laughs> but you know, it, it can be smeared. I can't really vouch for the texture since I've never really touched it, but it does kind of remind me a little bit of like what a more pure, pure version of bird poop might be. Um, and I will say though that some tarantula owners have not been as lucky and they've actually had their spider children take a nice little dump on their hands or on them before. <laughs> so yeah, that happens. And if it's happened to you, please let me know in the comments. So I might be weird for this, but I actually think that the way that spiders excrete waste is kind of precious. Um, so tarantulas are generally very tidy creatures. So what they will usually do um, is they will like choose to do it in certain spots of their tank. So often they will designate one part of their tank to like kind of serve as their bathroom. Um, tarantulas have also been known, and Spidey does this quite a bit and so does Blinky, um, to poop on their walls of their enclosure for some reason. Um, maybe because they don't want to soil the ground, they just want to kind of keep it out of the way. But not all tarantulas are very tidy. Um, I have definitely heard some tarantula owners say that their spiders are an absolute mess. They spray, certain species, yes, they spray their poop out. And I've heard that, you know, people will say that it gets all over the plants and all over the uh, enclosure and it is just a hot mess. Um, so not all tarantulas are really clean when they're pooping, but I would say that, at least for mine, um, mine don't really like to make a mess in their tanks. And I would say that probably a lot of other tarantulas are very tidy as well. I think it kind of depends on the species. Um, one particularly messy species that I've, I've definitely heard of is the um, avicularias. <laughs> they're a little bit messy and they spray poop everywhere. And speaking of pooping in one designated spot, I need to mention that tarantulas absolutely love to do one particular thing when they're pooping. I have observed through, through Spidey um, and also many uh, comments from other tarantula owners that they absolutely love to poop in their water dishes and no one knows why. This is still like a great mystery. Like we have so many other great mysteries about tarantulas, but um, this is something that they love to do um, and no one knows why. Um, but I actually have a really, really funny video of a tarantula doing that. If you check out the blog post in the description links, um, <laughs> it's just like so funny how this tarantula was like drinking water and then just turned right around and decided to poop in their water dish and ruin the whole thing. Um, so I should mention that um, 
you probably won't be lucky enough to catch your tarantula pooping in their water dish. I myself have never seen it, but you will probably notice that the water's dirty and also that they might be like little tiny white pebbly things in the water dish and that's kind of like what spider poop can look like when it uh, touches water. So um, like I said it kind of resembles bird poop when it's like on land or in the uh, or being touched by air but um, and of course it dries but when it's in water um, or in like the water dish it kind of has like a different um, a different appearance and consistency. To me, it kind of looks like tiny little pebbles. Um, it's just very, very strange, strange behavior, but they really love doing it. Uh, Spidey used to love, she hasn't done it in a while, but she used to love pooping in her water dish. And I don't know why, but uh, if you're a tarantula owner, you've probably had at least one spider that loves to do this. So moving on to other bathroom uh, activities, do spiders pee? And this was a little bit harder for me to answer because I'd never actually seen it before. So I had to do some research on this one um, because like I said, I never saw Spidey or Blinky pee or give any signs of like urine or anything like that. So I did look some stuff up and this is what I found. So according to the research, it seems like spider pee and poop is kind of the same thing. According to one website that I found, um, they said that spiders do not produce urine like we do, but produce uric acid, which doesn't dissolve in water and is a near solid. Spiders have this alternate form of waste because they can't afford to lose as much water as they do. Um, so basically, it'll go through the digestive tract, um, and then the uric waste from the uric acid waste from the kidneys is combined and eliminated together with solid waste from the digestive tract. So they don't actually have like separate feces and urine like we do and many other animals. Um, it's more of like a combined waste product that exit out of the same opening, which is the anus, which is towards the spinnerets. So it seems like it's the same thing for them. Um, so it all goes out the same way, which is kind of fascinating and very interesting. And it just really shows how different their bodies and their systems are from ours. So I guess what it really comes down to is that spiders don't poop or pee. They peep adorable. So here's another uh, fascinating response about spider poop and pee. Uh, this comes from Blaine Herbert from the California State University Northbridge and they said spider poop is common. You can see it under any spider web or under any location where spiders have lived for any period of time. It tends to be small round uh, dried drops that are white, cream colored, or light brown. He also says this material washes off easily with water and is probably quite harmless. Good to know, right? Um, so we may not understand everything about spider poop and pee, but this is definitely a start. And I was actually really happy about finding all this information because while it may not seem a lot, I do feel like whenever I do like a crazy tarantula fact series or whenever I try to delve more into some spider information or something about tarantulas, I usually find out that I come up really, really short and that there's more uh, questions than answers. So I was really happy that there was actually some sort of scientific info on this and that I could actually answer the question. So I'm very pleased and it was actually really fun to learn about. So thanks for asking that question. And um, if you have any other questions, please let me know because I'm always trying to do like more tarantula effects series and stuff like that because I personally like learning about these creatures and I know that you guys do too. So let me know if you have any other burning questions because uh, no matter how weird the subject is, I'll probably be into it. Let me know if you've ever seen your spider poop or pee or peep or whatever and if you have any really funny stories about that. I am particularly interested to know if your tarantula has ever pooped on you because I think that's hilarious. <laughs> and uh, Or if you have a, a very messy spider who likes to just poop everywhere. Um, please let me know because it's very very different from my own spiders. Uh, Spidey is like very very tidy so um, she's very easy to clean up after but I'm interested in hearing other experiences. Um, so let me know. If you like this video, um, please do subscribe. Like I said, I do uh, upload a video every single week that is usually either educational or fun or like a cool announcement or something like that. So please uh, do subscribe or hit the thumbs up button or even leave me a comment if you'd like to connect. I usually do, uh, I do respond to most comments and I'm really interested in, in bonding with other people in the tarantula community. So definitely leave me something. And if you would like to talk more about spiders, Elsewhere, I actually do have a closed Facebook group on uh, 
on Facebook and it is called Tarantula Heaven. Um, so you can definitely join that. Um, and if you want even more spider stuff from me, I actually do have a, uh, a new tarantula spider magazine called The Spinneret, and you can get that through my Patreon, which is in the links below. I also do have a tarantula guide, uh, who, which is more of like tarantula education and care info, also in the link below. And there's also some other fun go goodies, so um, you can definitely check that out in the description stuff. And last but not least, um, you can always sign up for my Tarantula Tuesday newsletter, which is also in the links. Um, I definitely put out a Tarantula Tuesday newsletter every week on Tuesday, and that is where I communicate with my fellow tarantula lovers and share more fun updates about my life with spiders and what I am looking into this week. So anyway, um, thank you so much for watching <laughs> and I hope that this video was fun and educational for you. And if you have any more ideas about what you'd like to see in future videos, let me know. Anyway, see you next week guys. Bye.